Hi everyone, I'm Rose Oliver from Double Dragon Alliance and today we're going to be doing a very simple um, shadow punching exercise. Uh, this is from Tongbei system and it's one of the Dan Chao or single uh, movement exercises or single training exercises. Um, there's a lot of kind of uh, material out there right now and uh, people are talking about shadow boxing as a way to keep fit. So what better than a traditional Chinese martial art as a way to uh, perform your shadow boxing. So this is a, a straight punch, so very simple, and we're not obviously striking anything, so there's no sort of impact or potential kind of injury can happen because you're impacting on a sort of heavy bag or something. So it's very light, very light and easy to do, and you can do it at a different kind of rates. Uh, if you want to kind of be a bit more aerobic with it, fine. If you just want to take it nice and easy, nice and sort of relaxed, also fine. So let's just talk a little bit about the straight punch, what we're going to do and how we shift our weight across and how we coordinate the body mechanics. And then we'll talk a little bit about how we let them go and release that uh, energy. So feet just about uh, hip or shoulder width underneath the arm, shoulder width apart, okay? If you want to be a little bit wider, that's fine too. So we're going to be shifting our weight and we're going to first of all think about from hip to hip dropping the weight down through the leg, down through the leg to the feet and into the earth. So our body is going to have this kind of folding and turning motion, okay? And then we're still gonna be looking ahead. So whenever we turn, our head is also going to keep focus on the target in front, okay? So not gonna be sort of looking to all different directions. So you're looking and focusing on what you're going to strike. Okay. So the simple punch, uh, first I'll show it from the front and then I'll do it from both sides so you can see. Left, we'll start off left hip, just above the hip bone. Right hand in front, so elbow dropping down. Uh, right fist pointing up, weight in the left hip, dropping down the weight through the left leg. Okay, so we're gonna draw the right fist back to the hip and as we do so, the left hand now is going out, 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 out. And at the last minute, it's going to turn over and punch forwards. Elbow, left elbow is going to drop down. Then we're going to draw the left elbow back again. Right hand now extending forward. Last minute, it's going to turn over for the punch. Drop the right elbow down. As we're drawing back, imagine it's like a sort of shearing scissor action. So as the right elbow comes backwards, the left elbow goes forward and shoots out the left hand. At the last minute, the left palm, left hand turns over so the punch is thrown out. Okay, so we're just doing it very nice, very slowly now, nice and slow at the beginning, just to get the dynamic, uh, so the mechanics right. Okay, and drawing back in with the left elbow, outward with the right hand, drop the weight down that right leg as you release that right hand. Draw in and back, Release, and just as you're releasing that left hand, let the weight drop down through the right hip. Okay. So we'll just keep it nice and loose and relaxed, not trying to really force anything or make any kind of uh, dynamic punch at the moment, just getting the mechanics right. So breathing, inhale as you're drawing in, exhale as you release. So nice and easy, relaxed breathing, not trying to kind of um, hold your breath or sort of make any sort of forceful exhalation. Just nice and relaxed. So if we just do it from the side. And as you're letting that elbow drop, don't draw in the hand, slowly release. Don't don't pull back the hand, just let the elbow drop and that brings the hand upright. So it's the timing of the release and the dropping of the weight and the exhalation. So you end up breathing out through the nose, I'm just doing it so you can hear a little bit, but here it would be through the nose. And we'll just do it from this side so you can see. Okay, 
and keeping this nice alignment with the spine. So you're not bending the, the forwards or bending from the spine or bending the neck. Um, one thing we want to get is we want to have our hand so that we have this, I don't know if you can see, we don't want a fist locked, we want the, the fist to have this nice kind of slightly uh, kind of a um, screwdriver sort of spiraling kind of action. So we don't want this kind of a fist at the end. We want to have a slight bend in the elbow, elbow, inside elbow joint pointing straight up to the ceiling. So that's actually the end of the movement, not like this, okay? So very simple, the straight punch. Uh, of course, this is just a, an exercise, a, a shadow boxing exercise for you to do at home. But getting this timing right and this sort of shearing action. So this is also very good for the waist and spine and the hips so that you're getting a nice, loose, uh, kind of relaxed rhythm going. So if you're gonna be doing shadow boxing as your go-to for aerobic training, especially still during the pandemic, you might not be wanting to go to the gym. This is something you can do at home, release a lot of pent up frustration as well, but also give you a good workout for the cardiovascular system and your hips and spine and, and uh, your whole body. So hope you enjoy and we'll do another Dan Chow shadow boxing training uh, technique next time.